Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video for um, an update that uh, Microsoft has given today to the processors or CPUs that are uh, accepted with the version 2004. Uh, explain a little bit what that also means and of course answer two questions of the same question actually but two viewers have asked the same question uh, today. And it has to do with, are there older CPUs that are left off that you can't install? And could it happen in the future? So Microsoft updated today its list of CPUs for version 2004. That is the next version of, of the May 2020 update. And uh, so does it remove anything? Not that we know of. So anything that is actually working on older versions like uh, version 1809, nine, uh, 1903, 1908, or whatever. <laughs> um, I'm getting mixed up here. Uh, so anyways, the May and the November uh, 1909, November 2019 update are all probably going to work well with this um, new version. So they didn't really remove anything or say that some of the older CPUs of some generation are not now accepted. You know, in the past we did have that. There was a version where a couple of CPUs were actually removed from the list of uh, compatible versions. Uh, they actually had given Windows 10. That version of Windows 10 was uh, supported until 2025. But on the um, list of CPUs, the only thing they've changed is added the latest uh, new Ryzen and new core, uh, Intel Core uh, 10th generation CPUs. There are a few CPUs missing uh, for the latest, latest Ryzen 4000 series, but you know that's going to come eventually. They're going to do some update and, and everything's going to be fine. So if you have the latest, latest version, it's not impossible that that latest version doesn't get it right away because of the missing CPU specs. but. That should be okay uh, soon. Um, and like I said, there's no CPU removal of anything. So basically, whatever runs Windows 10 right now will run uh, on the new May 2020 update. Uh, still stated to be at the end of the month. Uh, lots of things happening this week. The SDK, the developers, uh, MSDN is releasing it. All of that is actually pointing towards um, a release, uh, May 28th, um, again. So no changes except the added new CPUs is mostly uh, what's happening. And if you have an older PC running Windows 10, it should still technically be compatible with version of the May 2020 update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.